Hey Mario, wake up mate. We got stuff to do. We're gonna do the post game of TTYD today. Which is gonna be really exciting. So, we're gonna do the pit today, is what I'm thinking we're gonna do. But before we do the pit, there's a few things I want to do around town real quick. Well, first we're gonna talk to everybody, because that's one thing I should probably do. Let's see what this guy has to say. <laughs> I'll cry! <laughs> or I'll cry. Hey, yeah, it's me, Darkly. I like dead places, yeah. Remember when the whole world went as dark as night? I just think it would be great if the whole world went dark. Then it did. That dark was different. It wasn't good dark, no. It was a scary dark. I'm glad it went back the way it was. Now I think it's probably better the world not go dark like that ever again. Yeah, post-game depression. Sure, we go with that. Hey, it's that guy again, man. The end of the world arrived. Well, that, then some guy came and then put an end to the badness. He was one tough dude. You know who's better than Ishniel, Don Pianta, and Frankie combined? You, man. You're number one. And I'm psyched, because I met the number one coolest guy in the whole world. <laughs> when the sky went dark, even I was down on my knees wishing for help. Then light came to the sky again. Now I'm not saying my wish did it. I'm just glad we are saved. I'm going to change my ways. No more stealing for me. These guys all had, like, a change of heart. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, yeah. So we have, uh, three new troubles. Roust these cads. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. So we're gonna do this one first. Erase that graffiti. This one is, uh, probably the most, mo no, like, time-consuming trouble in the game. If you don't, if you did the pit before post game, I need someone to go to the 50th level of the Peter 100 trials for me, Shaboom. So I need someone pretty tough, Shaplawi. For details, please see me in the next next to the cannon statue and fire outpost, Shaboomity. Yeah, Swab's trouble. You know, I guess we will we'll, we'll talk to um we'll talk to everybody around town. You know, get that out of the way. Hey, it's the mustache, remember me? It's Peter the Unemployed Slacker. Is it really true you think of the Shadow Queen? That's absolutely amazing. You inspired me to figure out how I can help Ishni without being a thief. <laughs> You're never gonna change. Hey, that was amazing. Can't believe I clicked you cleared that darkness. You really are Clemble. If I have ever plot them, I'm going straight to you. You saved the world, guy. You're welcome here anytime. My house is yours. You're amazing. I think I might even brag about the fact you wrecked me. No, wait a second. I can't brag about getting beaten over 10 music coins. That's pathetic. Crap. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, I'm kind of curious if, um... I'm curious if Rifty got any new dialogue. I guess we should find out first. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to do around town before we do the pit, to be honest. But this is just the, uh, the important stuff, you know? Good day to you, sir. You have anything new? You have no new- you have no new lore. Wow. I expected him to have new lore. Crazy. We'll talk to the people on the ground as well. Oh, wait, 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 I'm stupid. I forgot to talk to Frankly. Why didn't I do that? I think I talked to everybody in the main area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Still can't seem to- still can't get that, uh, still can't get that 60 FPS mod to work, sadly. Too bad. Pale is empty. Well, you know what? I never checked the, the tattle log. Uh, we have 116 out of 134. Hmm. We have Bowser and Bowser. Look at Bowser dance. Alright, we, we also have Cammy. An old witch who's always with Bowser. She's a nasty magic-using crone. Well, you should still respect your elders, remember that. Chasing after Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars, the Koopa King has suddenly appeared in the Palace of Shadow. Beware his team attacks with Cammy. 
Um, I think it is new, I wonder. I think I checked out the dark, like, the dark wizard and the phantom ember and stuff. It's tough to damage this creature, but it has low HP, so it's possible to take it out with one decisive blow. Part machine, part organic, magic-using entity. It'll multiply itself to confuse you. Oh, yeah, I did look at that. We got, uh, Dupless 2. A fiend who takes the shapes of Mario and his friends, then attacks. Recruited by Beldum. Oh, I did, I did read that. Uh, did I look at Grotus? <laughs> the nasty creature that kidnapped Peach. He's in the world domination. Some hobby, huh? Uh, Grotus X. An annoying magical protector of Grotus. When he has four of these, he's invincible. They have Shadow Queen Peach. The resurrected Shadow Queen, currently possessing Peach's body. She has enough power to silence Grotus with a single blow. Be careful. The legendary demon who has been sealed within the Palace of Shadow for a thousand years by the power of the Crystal Stars. She tried to cast w the world in the darkness, but Mario whipped her equal but good. And Peach is back to normal, thank goodness. I'm curious what this entry is. What is this last entry here? Hmm. I mean, we know. I, I know. I, I can figure out what a bunch of these are. What is. I'm curious what's this entry right here, number 10. I don't quite know. I know these are Dark Koopas. This is Dark Lakitu. Badge Bandit. Rana Plant, Maisy Daisy, Arantula, Swampire, Poison Puff, Dark Bristle, Bulk. Yeah, so we're missing... We're missing something. I don't know what exactly. We're also missing, um... That. What the fuck is... What the fuck is this, then? What's, what's entries number 10 and 133? That's what I can't figure out. Hmm. Might have to look at a, uh, at various locations. Well, when it says various locations. Blitz pit. Alright. Uh, okay. Let's go to this side of town. We got some stuff to spend our money on, by the way. You look like you don't know this, I'll teach you about something about that. There's this guy named Mario who saved the world, whole world in his darkest hour. Huh? You're Mario? Ooh, ooh, wait a sec, whoa. The rumors are all true. <laughs> I was looking for this guy who defrauded me of a fake credit card, but I quit looking for him. Looking so hard for some guy when the world is coming to an end is pretty stupid. Yeah, so I forgot that about the whole thumping revenge thing. <laughs> The King of Shoppers. You smell that? Me either. No, indeed. I don't smell a thing. Looks like good times may be ahead, huh? I'm not sure why, but something tells me I ought to thank you, bud, so thanks. When the light fades from Rogue Horror, a hero emerges, inscribing his name in the legend. Graffiti Corner. Super Luigi, all the five volumes now on sale at Old Bros Bazaar. Mustachioed Green Baron. Luigi wrote that. Speaking of Super Luigi, yeah. The fan favorite, Super Luigi 4. Yes, we're gonna buy Super Luigi 4. The moment that I might have needed my explosion seems to have passed, eh? And that sky filled up with darkness. I was so shook I almost exploded on the spot. I don't think I'll ever love again. As long as the world's at peace, I'll be happy. I think, uh... Have a seat. This is part of this place where battle-weary warriors come to heal body and soul. Anything new, Flavio? Hello there, you Mario. You're doing well, I assume, yes? That's the same, actually. I've been catching a breather here, you know, reflecting back on all my adventures. Been long road, bro. Wanna hear what happened? So now Luigi has Super Luigi book, which is brand new. It's an extra little bit of thing you can look at. Actually, you know what? This guy novelized my quest. He's been interviewing me. 
He was actually interviewing me here at the inn during breaks from my adventure. I didn't think anyone would be interested in reading a book about Luigi. But Super Luigi came out recently. Check this out, bro. Here on Roadport. It's a set of new record for consecutive weeks at number one on the best seller list. Ho oh, ho ho, hooray for Luigi, bro! I started reading it the other day, but it's encyclopedia I can count in multiple volumes. Grush, excruciating detail, bro. It's like a history book. Seems like one anyway. They got it in the shop here in Rogueport. Oh, you snag a copy, bro. Yeah, I love the Super. I want to check out those Super Luigi books when I get the chance. I only read them, like, once. But other than that, I haven't really done anything else. Um, so I don't think there's really any interesting badges here. I mean, there's three pretty lucky P's here. Two HP plus P is, yeah, crazy shit. Anyways, guys, I figured out what badge I was missing. And it turns out, we're gonna have to go to the Pianta Parlor. So, yeah. We're just gonna talk to these lads first. Sitting morning for my parents are getting kicked out of the house. Boy, I'm just here for the stupidest reason. I'm gonna quit being a thief and apologize to my parents. It's better to be a good kid. Hey, listen to this, man. Yesterday at the parlor, I won 100,000 coins. Yeah, finally. I finally won. The dark sky's all cleared up. I finally won. Great days are here at last. Hooray! Yeah, I remember that guy. He said he wins, like, a fuck ton of money. You're probably just jealous. No one's swimming around. It's the perfect hideout spot. Garbage flies, roaches, stinky, dirty, muggy. And it's all dim and gloomy. Oh, uh, no wonder. That's why nobody comes here. This place is gross. Oh, well, I can get used to living about anywhere, I guess. Eh. Bonk. Where, where are the flies, anyway? I don't really see the flies in this version. She says did a video on TTYD, Boundary Break. And I watched that, and it was fucking great. I think I, think I learned a few new things about it. I think, anyway. But I, I'd give that a watch. There's gonna be a lot, I'm gonna be watching a lot of TTYD videos. My family's so happy now, so I'm happy too. I like the light blue toad. It's like the only light blue toad in the entire game. The book I wrote about your quest was a huge success. It's even been made into a play. So thank you, to thank you for inspiration, I dubbed it Paper Mario. <laughs> More meta jokes. Yeah. Oh, how refreshing. I don't know why, but I never tire of watching clouds drift by. Maybe I'm just tired. I love your latest starring role in Paper Mario. I mean to see it. I mean to see it a thousand times. Yeah, Paper Mario. I mean, it's probably because it's called Mario Story in Japan, you know. There was this guy who said he wanted to turn the novel Paper Mario into a movie. He said he wanted me to help him do it. Go of an executive producer. I read that novel too. It was pretty disturbing. Still, I was moved. I thought this would be the most effective way to use my vast amounts of money. Perhaps it's, time, perhaps it's time for me to get out of bed and become productive. It's finally come. Good on that guy. He's finally doing something worth a damn. I played soccer with my kid brother yesterday. Boy, it was so fun. He's actually pretty darn athletic. We're getting along really well now. We're gonna play together tomorrow. I can't wait. Oh, I lost in today's happy lucky lottery, but I'll win tomorrow for sure. I'll check again tomorrow. You know, just pitch a tent and live here. Did I did I win at the lucky lottery? No. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I don't want your stupid mushroom, man. Hey, how you doing? I'm Goombatastic. I went on a trip with the whole family the other day. It was fantastic. It was really fun spending time together as a family. I still can't stop checking the high scores on this machine, of course. I'm definitely going to spend more time with my family from now on. 
See, the coins these Piana tokens here. You can get one Piana for three coins and the change it right there. But you can't change Piana's back, understand? Hey, it's you again. You know the sky going dark wasn't nothing at all. It was great for us. You should have seen the way people were blowing their door. Anyways. You and the great Mario can relax once in a while. You can see I have 453 Piantas. There's a reason for that. Because this is the only place you can get money money. That's the badge I was missing. And it's fucking expensive in this game. I swear, in the original, it's like 320 or something. But they upped it to 450, so I had to grind. I had to grind this shit out. Uh, I mean, I only grinded for like 10 minutes, but still. Either way. That brings my badge list up to 81. So the other five are in the pit. And I already know what they are, but hey, it's gonna be fun. So bump attack, zap tap, lucky day, return postage, and pity flower. Something like that. Apparently there's also an 87th badge. But we don't get it until we 100% the game, so... Yeah. The object you got out of Magnus One Grapple 2.0. The very unread herring real object from Possibly Sanctum. Yeah, the, the Crystal Star looks real nice in this version. It's not quite rainbow like in the HD um, texture pack for TTYD. But I really like this color. Although it's just called Crystal Star, though. And also, I noticed that the map... The, uh, Palace of Shadow isn't, like... Like... Animated anymore? It's interesting. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'll never have to come back here again. I'm really excited to do the pit, though. So it's always one of my favorite parts of the game. Like, no joke. I really want a train ticket, but I know it's not easy to get your hands on one. But I know the day will I will arrive at Sex Express. I'll make it happen. There isn't so many romantic partners and friends in the very spot. It's just deep, man. I love the thought of it. I want a romantic farewell. Oh wait, first I have to fall in love. Dang. Alright, we're gonna go underground. We're also gonna go talk to Wonky, because Wonky might have some new bits for us. Some new lore. Ooh. That'll be fun. Yeah, it's really weird though. There's just, there's nothing left to do. But you know what? That's not necessarily a bad thing. We should also go check on check on TEC at some point. Well, here's the thing, right? We're gonna do one more episode after the pit where I go around the world, talk to everybody, read the Super Luigi books, maybe do like a few various like things before I finally uh, end the series and give my thoughts and all that. So, yeah. Hey there, Mr. Adventure. Sounds like Gear got his old job with the Geologic Survey team back. I guess he's a legit member of society again, finally. Or is he? Yo, hey, the mask you're supposed to fan extra air. No but fish stylish moves. Well, Mr. Save the Universe, think you know all the stylish moves there are? There are stylish moves that go with badge moves too, so maybe that'll keep you busy. Sound hard? Well it ain't easy. That's all you gotta practice, yo. One of my favorites is Tornado Jump. Maybe I should practice that one. Looks like your little ventures reached its penultimate chapter. I suppose that means it's time for me to go look for real work. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. No, seriously, I gotta find that treasure. Wow. You know what? I still didn't talk to Frankly yet. Why the fuck didn't I do that? When the whale's covered in darkness, the mustache here will rise. He and his companions will banish the evil back to the depths of the netherworld. This is an ancient legend hand down my family. Heh, <laughs> actually I made that up just now, but it sounds pretty convincing, right? Old herb tea's place. I know stuff too seriously. Like, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Because, you know, the other baskets get jealous. Me? I don't even like eggs. <laughs> Something I want to ask old Wonky, right? If you pay five coins, I can tell you about couples cake.
You know who's ST in the square, I'm sure. The girl with the mean cooking talent. Well, she's got a secret recipe called the Cupcake Cake. Cute name, huh? To make it, she needs a snow bunny and a spicy soup. If you bring her bro both, we'll, she'll make it. At least that's what old Wonky here is. By the way, a snow bunny is made from golden leaf and an ice storm. And spicy soup is made from a fire flower and dried bouquet. I don't know why he adds in the dried bouquet part, because you can make it with just fire flower. I don't get it. Even so, I hear that this recipe really reminds of her late husband. So she doesn't make it for just anybody. I wonder how she feels about you. If you ain't five coins, I can tell you about the Trouble Center's rear entrance. Oh, this is where you actually are you're able to learn about it. So there's that Trouble Center on the road towards east side, right? Well, only a few people know about the back entrance to it. Hey, I'm not saying there's anything good in there, but it may be worth a look. With that, I've told you all the stuff I know. Of course, I might learn some new stuff soon as I check back with Wonky. Well, in reality, he probably has nothing because, yeah. By the way, I never showed you guys my inventory. Uh, <laughs> uh, here's my inventory. I have a fuck ton of inky sauce in here. This is gonna be my FP renewal if I ever run low on FP. And we also have uh, all the Super Luigi books. I need to get more of those. I need to sort these, dude. There we go. That looks much better. Can't believe I never did that. Actually, out of curiosity, I want to see um, what Mer Lovely does now. My next path. I cannot see the path that lies before you. Perhaps you've done everything you must here already. I believe you should now press forward as your heart leads you. What are those star pieces? Ah, it seems we've reached the end of the path I can see for you. It's not the end, though. If you simply press forward as your heart leads you. Nice dialogue there. So Merlove, Mer Lovely literally can't do anything now. <laughs> I put her out of job. I don't know, crazy, huh? Alright, well. Next up, let's go to... Let's go talk to Frankly. You seem pretty cheery. And as always, I'm happily busy with my research. Fuck you! By the by, do you want to know what was in that treasure chest we found in the palace? It contained... A dried mushroom! Oh! Oh no, it's nothing to be disappointed by. Now we know for certain that people indeed ate mushrooms a thousand years ago. It was a ground bakering anthropological discovery. <laughs> I think I'll stay here and keep doing my research a while longer. Yes, I'm fond of this place. Feel free to draw by any time you like. Yep, so that's what he reveals. He reveals that there was a dried mushroom in there this entire time. It is really disappointing, but it's also cool at the same time. Anyways, I guess I'll go talk to Swab and get his dialogue out of the way. I mean, I'd hate to get it to floor 50 of the pit and have there be nothing down there. Because I didn't talk to him. So, yeah. Let's go talk to him first. Type the far outpost. I like that little noise. Pretty cool. Did I drop any frames yet? Nope, we're all good. Although OBS isn't doing the thing where it shows if I'm recording or not, that's weird. Bit concerning, isn't it? You agreed to help my travel, Shabalooey. Thanks to you, Shaboom. There is dungeon on the roadboard called Fit of 100 Childs, Shapow. I heard of one right's wish on wall of 50th floor, then wish come true, Shapop. I used special big explosion to get down to 50th level and write wish, shakrak. And then I realized the whole thing was hoax, shadoop. I risked life getting down there for useless graffiti. I wanted to race. I would explode it myself, ease of peas. But getting back down there is not ease or peas, shakroom. So, could you go to the 50th level of shit of 100 chalas and race graffiti, please, shablu? We only use Big Bob Cannon for peace of purposes, wabadoom. There is more to world than what we see, Shpashum. Truth is always beyond sight. Just like space itself. 
Well, I guess I'll talk to everybody here so I don't have to come back to Far Outpost later, you know what I mean? Is there anything in here? Nope. Many Bob have suffered just to get it to moon. I'm kidding, Shafum. We like exploding, Chatum, except for one of us. I read that already. Is this the last episode? Probably, yeah. Does the snow up on moon? Where'd the snow come from anyway? I'm gonna do the pit today and the remaining side quests and stuff. We're almost done the game. Snow all melted. Do any of you guys have new dialogue? I was scanning right the surface of moon. Good? Yes, very good. Play the Charlie Wu sound. <laughs> Listen, just between us, I don't like exploding. Yeah, that's the same. Cannon will not be fired until they have been waiting for comes. My peace of mind is all thanks to you. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Hooray, I have been wanting to shoot that thing for a very long time. But as we blow up, we are all hazy and confused. Da. Like fog and fog. Little explosives wear short sleeves. And sadly, you can't go back in that room. Well, we're done at Far Outpost, then. You know, that's how you feel right now? It's been a long, it's been a long four to five days of recording and streaming this on end. But, I'm happy to say we're finally gonna finish TTUID Remake, guys. And then I'm gonna take a break from streaming until, like, June. <laughs> well, at least in terms of the Twitch thing, because th these these streams will go up way later. Probably like mid-June, honestly. Also, that's not the right pipe I wanted to go down. Whoops. Wish the, um... I wish the loading times were a little better. That's my only complaint really now is the load times. Take a break. When I, when I say take a break from streaming, I mean like taking a break from series that I'm doing myself. Like I'll play, I'll play with friends still and all that, but I'm not gonna do a new series. Like I'm not gonna do a new game for myself for a week or so. Probably in June, I'll go back to playing uh, Tomodachi Life or something. I don't know. I never did end up finishing that. Alright, guys. We're gonna do the Pit of 100 Trials. Um, what badges do I want for this? Probably Quake. Double Dip could be good. Obviously gonna want that. Uh, PFD down, all that good stuff. Power rushes. I mean, all these badges are good. Coating close call. Flower saver's good, yeah. Refund might be nice. Actually, no. What's the point of refund? I'm gonna get all my coins back in here anyways. Alright, let's go. Get those into the pit of one of the trials music again. Wow. Oh yeah, that's a funny um that's a funny weird thing I found out about. If you kill an enemy with all or nothing. If you kill an enemy with all or nothing and then you um what do I what do I call it? And then you miss the action command on all or the other part of all or nothing. The enemy just spins around. It doesn't do the death animation. Also, I got a better idea. Instead of all or nothing, I'm gonna put on flower finder. And then at that point, I'll never really run out of FP. I don't think I don't know if I'll ever run out of FP if I flower finder, dude. Because flower finder is OP as hell. All right, come over here. <laughs> Ooh, 
And then Mario says, fuck you. But this pit, the pit is gonna take so fucking long in this version. Like, the pit is really... The pit is really, um... I can usually get through the pit in a couple hours. But in this version, I'm not too sure, honestly. Because the battles are just so much slower in this game. Especially the first, like, 30 or so floors are really fucking boring. I would appreciate if I got a mover early on, though. No, that would be pretty nice. This is the pit of one of trials. That pipe just seems to lean down forever. Let's find our way to the lowest level. Make sure I tattle on any maze we haven't seen before, okay? It's supposed to get harder, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really get that interesting until floor 50, though. Thankfully, they buffed the Ultra Hammer spin. Oh yeah, you know what? I I should probably get multi. I should probably put on multi bounce actually. Now that would be a good badge to put on. There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna put on the old music because I like the old music better, honestly. The old music for the pit is just way better, dude. Alright, let's get ready. Come here, Fuzzy. Come here. I mean, I'll, I'll turn on, I'll turn the nostalgic music back on around, like, maybe floor 30 or 40 or something. Because apparently the music gets, uh, better at that point. But for now, it's just gonna be kind of boring. Plus, it gives me a good, uh, it gives me a good excuse to listen to the original battle theme again. I'm not really a fan of this clear bonus slowing down the pacing of the battles, though. It's really annoying. <laughs> Get Reggie. My body is ready. Where? Hey! Where? Notice me. Notice me! Motherfucker got the 12% lucky chance. You know what? I actually should put on item hog. <laughs> Reggie noticed you. So yeah, that would be a good idea. Let's put on the uh, item hog. I don't think I'll need double dip for these. I only really need double dip for the bosses. I mean, I might need it later on, but right now, not really. I mean, we can get some good- we can get some good bad drops and stuff. Ooh, some sauce. I appreciate that. Let me check- I'll check in a sec. Once I kill this fucker. Notice me. He just gets bonked in the face! That's satisfying, dude.
Okay. Let's see what sauce we got. Yuka Booba Grab. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, certainly, that's certainly some sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna get one star point every level I- or every battle I do. I mean, who knows, we might get some really interesting item drops from these guys. So, that's kind of why I want to see it. That's why I want to have it on. Why does that count as me getting a normal hammer? I clearly used my ultra hammer. <laughs> I'm really confused about that. You're gonna get demonized. I like how people always say it. Like, they always say demonized and not demonetized. Yeah, so we've been on this floor before. I'm hoping I can find a fucking mover in these first 50 floors to speed this shit up. Because there's going to be no new enemies for a while. Not far off. Dude, let's see, there's, there's, there's no new enemies until like the th fucking 30s, I think. And even then, the only new enemy is gonna be like the Spiky Gloomba, the Dark Koopas, and the Dark Paratroopa. Did you beat Super Toad? Yes, I did. The trick to beating Prince Mush is you have to super guard him. The only way to win against him is to super guard. If you super guard, he, um. Like, he, like, loses his balance and you can kill him. It's, it's kind of a. It's a really cool way to beat a super boss. It seems like something that a fan hack would do or something. But no, this is in a real, real Mario, Paper Mario game now. Forcing you to super guard a boss to win. <laughs> Which is what I really love about it. And honestly, that's the only hard thing about that fight, is the fact that you have to super guard him. Because if you don't super guard him, he kills you. <laughs> and then you have to redo the whole fight all over again. Because bro, fuck, bro, fucking guy does like 40 damage in one turn, which none of your party members can survive. Mario sure as hell can't survive with 10 HP. Alright, pokey time. Yeah, get bonked. Mario's not Mexican. That's so weird that, um, is Super Guard a luck based mechanic or you have to time it? Super Guards are a. They're a two frame. They're a two to four frame window that you have to press the B button. So you have two to four frames to hit the Super Guard on his attack. And if you miss the two four frame window, you, uh, just. You just get hit and you take damage. That's how Super Guards work. They work differently in the remake, though, because apparently there are four frames in this game. But I beat them with Unsimplifier. Unsimplifier makes it one frame tighter per uh, super per uh, Unsimplifier. If you hack in a third Unsimplifier, Super Guards become one frame. Which means you have one frame to press the B button. <laughs> which is crazy. In the original TTYD, Super Guards are three frames because the game natively runs at 60 FPS. So two, I think, I think two to unsimplifiers makes it two frames still. I think. So I'm pretty sure one unsimplifier doesn't make the Super Guards harder. So those guys fall way faster. Oh, 
Oh, I just realized something else. Unsimplifiers make you get better ratings early on. So you get... It starts out with great instead of, like, nice, I think. That's not something I really noticed too much, but yeah. He's gonna own a taco- like, yeah, like, like Waluigi's taco stand. Can I kill with two quakes? That's a six. Oh yeah, we're fine. Might be time to put on spike shield at some point as well. Luigi's burrito shop? That's also 69 star points. We got a got a super shroom drop this time. I find it pretty cool that the coins are 3D instead of 2D sprites like in the original. Yeah, this would have been good a time. This would have been a good time to have um, spike shield on. Yo, I super guarded the stage hazard. I cannot multi bomb for shit. Dang. Also, you can't super guard. Or no. You can't stylish out of a failed hammer ash command anymore. Which is kind of lame, honestly. I always really like doing that, you know, it's, it it's really makes the combat faster. You do a failed hammer command, and then you just stylish, and then you move back to the start really quick. So why does this count as me doing a normal hammer action, man? It's so weird. I mean, it's because they changed how the fucking, like, hammer works in this game. so much money after this though it's gonna be crazy also it's a shame you can't get first strikes anymore with that yeah notice how i get it like a one a, i start off with great get wonderful and then excellent immediately it's a full charge where you get the ultra hammer thingy I probably have to swing my hammer for longer for it to count as the Ultra Hammer swing. Kinda sucks, but it is what it is. Alright, well here's where all the- there, this is where the new content starts, because I have not been to Floor 21 yet. So we get to actually tattle the new enemy, finally. Never mind, we get a mover instead. You know what, thank god. Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things I came through this dungeon. But a few coins, I can move you where you want to go. Um, real clear, I want to tattle him. That's a mover. Yeah, at least sometimes appear in the pit on one of the trials. For a few coins, he'll send you to another level. No, level. It's up to you if you want to use him. Yes, please. This will speed this fucking place up. A lot. Alright, close your eyes. My secret paths are secret. Don't open your eyes at all. Ooh. I love the wavy effect. Alright, and here we go. Here's a spiky Goomba. Yeah, I'm not ashamed of doing that. Because, <laughs> man, this place would take so much longer otherwise. That is a spiky Goomba. It is a spiky Goomba that likes dark places. His attack's pretty high, huh? I'm sure you know this, but try not to jump on the spike. I wonder if I'd look like that if I stayed down here long enough. I'd rather not think about that. Are there tanning salons in Rogueport? 
Let's see how much fire drive does. Oh, just enough. Is he gonna is he gonna make himself invisible? That'd be really funny. Get super guarded, bitch! Yeah. I really don't see the point of a clear bonus when enemies drop coins anyways. That's something I changed back, honestly. I, I get rid of that feature, honestly. Like, it makes sense for bosses, but... Getting one every battle is just really fucking annoying. Well, that bandit is able to throw hands, look at him. sooner or later. The later floors get a lot more interesting, though, because there's actually, like, unique enemies. Like, there's more unique enemies, I mean. I mean, I guess the Lakitu's pretty unique. I hate that you can't spin jump into enemies anymore that are flying. multi-bounce trick's gonna stop working after a certain point. Once you learn the optimal playstyle of TTYD, it's really hard to go back to any other playstyle, to be honest. <laughs> because it's just too fun and snappy, you know? Oh yeah, let's, let's have a little fun with this loadout. We're gonna fire drive these fools. Boom, 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 and the confetti! Seems like you will love and hate this game for most of the stuff. Mo the, the only thing I hate about this remake is the sluggish gameplay. That's the only thing I hate. It just feels slower than the original. It's the only reason I play the original is because the gameplay is faster. Zap tap! Yeah, zap tap on floor 30. Interesting. So that's one of the badges we have now. Zap tap goes right here. During battles, Mario becomes electrified and inflicts one damage to any enemy that touches him. Spike shield. So. I guess return post is really right here. Or be right here. I don't know. I'm not sure which badge is missing. I think this is actually Pity Flyer. This one right here. That would make more sense. And there are turn posties right here. Alright. New content. This is a bit of a child, but I don't see any enemies in this room. At least there's a pipe to take us back to the entrance if you want to bail. Then again, we have to fight our way back down this level again. I'm pretty sure, like, every 10 to 20 floors, Goombella have something new to say. This is the pit of one of your child. That pipe just seems to leave down forever. Seems kind of fresh. Oh. There's an entire X Not audience. That's a dark Koopa. It lives in dark places that light never reaches. It's a bit tougher than the regular Koopas, so you won't be able to beat it easily. But it does have the same weakness as the regular Koopa. Flip it over and it's helpless. Why do you think it needs sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? Alright, we're on multi bonk you fools. multi bounce, not multi bonk. Edgy Cooper. Field of Coopers? Still only getting one star point. I want to say we won't probably won't be getting star points until, like, the 70s. The 60s or the 70s is probably when we'll start getting star points. Oh, right. I don't have space. Wow. 
We got Hypercleft. Oh, this loadout's kind of annoying. This is why we have Rally Link. I mean, FP really doesn't matter. I'm gonna get a lot of FP. I, I think bringing a bunch of inky sauces down here was kind of redundant. And besides, in like 22 battles, I'm gonna get a level up as well. I don't know, man. I'm just too good at this game. Like, this is why I love the infinite pit, because it actually puts my, like, pit skills to the test. The normal pit's really boring. <laughs> after you've played it, like, a couple dozen times, like me. Although, this is kind of the point where the battles start taking more than one turn, though. So I guess I'll give it that. Also, I'm hoping by the end of the pit, we unlock the Superstar stage, because I'd love to see that in HD. I don't know, what level are we right now? 24, so we'd have to gain 6 levels down here to see the Superstar stage. We also got Shady Koopas down here. Are you guys ready for a fire drive? Nice damage. Theoretically, if you fought like dozens of battles, you could get to um like level 99, but that's not really fun. The easiest way would be to fight a fuck ton of amazing daisies though. Amazing Daisies aren't easy to farm. Oh, I dropped my input somehow. Don't know how I did that. I mean, these are the last guys I'd want to get attacked by. <laughs> Losing all my FP is just the worst. It kind of makes me wish more enemies actually took advantage of the FP mechanic instead of just a random-ass flower fuzzy. I mean, we kind of saw that with the Prince Mush fight. How Prince Mush, he attacks your HP, he like, gets rid of your HP, but also your FP at the same time. That's giving me like some Paper Mario Dark Star vibes, you know? I think that's really cool when an enemy attacks both your health and your FP at the same time. You know, it feels more, it feels dangerous, it feels more dangerous when they do that. Typically, if an enemy just attacks your FP or your MP or whatever, it doesn't really feel that impactful because you're not in danger of dying. You're just in danger of having to restore your MP. <laughs> it only sucks in a game where FP or MP economy is, like, really low. That's the only game where it really matters, honestly. A good example of that would be, um, 
Persona 2 Innocent Sin, where Nyarlathotep has an attack that can drain your FP. I say, I say, I say SP. Yeah, your SP. And I remember do th say, thinking in my first on my first playthrough, like, why the fuck is he only doing like double digit damage? And then I realized he's not attacking my health; he's attacking my SP. And one of his attacks just to, the entire point of one of his attacks is just to drain your SP. <laughs> So, I find that kind of cool. And again, it makes you wish more, uh... Makes you wish more uh, bosses and enemies in games did that kind of stuff. More JRPGs. Hell, you know what would be a cool idea for a Paper Mario ROM hack? Add an enemy that, like, sucks away your SP. Or no, that sucks away your star power. Can you imagine that? There's probably some, like, mod in the process like that where it's like, you know, the boss is draining your star power. Yeah. I can imagine something like that. You know, imagine an attack that does, like, I don't know, maybe five damage, but it takes, like, an entire bar of star power or something. It'd be more threatening than just an attack that did five damage. Or hell, even imagine a boss that... Well, I mean, they sort of did this in Dark Star, I think. I think in, um, the Toon and Koopa rematch, also wrote to get Pity Flower right here. Yum. Yummy Pity Flower. On floor 40. Okay, we're actually getting to the interesting floors of the pit. Did the music change at all? Or I think it doesn't change till, like, floor 50 or something. Yeah. Yeah, so in the Tin Koopa rematch in, um, Paper Mario 64, right? The, um, the gimmick, the whole gimmick of that fight. Also, we're gonna need, a uh, we're gonna need a way to get rid of that spiky parabuzz. Yeah, I probably should have put on fucking, uh, what you call it? Uh, spike shield. I need to start putting that on, actually. That's a dark paratrooper. It lives in dark damn places. It's strong, but otherwise, just like other paratroopas, it's airborne, so try to ground it first. I think in this case, I will use Art Attack. I have not used Showstopper yet, actually. I just realized. I used every star power except for Showstopper. Maybe it's time I try that out. I'll see when will be a good time to use it. It's just, I'm really bad at the, um, the, I'm just really bad at knowing the buttons on the Pro Controller. Super edgy, Cooper. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna take off some badges. We gotta take off something so we can put that on. Um, I mean, yes, I'm keeping on Item Hog. I guess I'll take off Happy Flower and Flower Saber P. And then we'll put on Ice Power and Spike Shield. Yep. That should be good. You know what? Happy Flower can stay. I can't carry that. I think it, okay, I think it is until floor 50 where you start getting more interesting loadouts. Or you start getting more, uh, you start getting new text. Again. 
I haven't used Spike Shield this whole game. I was saving it for the pit, because that's like the best time to use it. I guess we'll see what's the first enemy to um, actually start giving us star points. If I had to make a guess, probably gonna be like Ice Puffs or something. Right, here's where the reason I here's the reason I put on Ice Power. I think Goombella can kill this mofo. Is Goombella the best friend character? Yeah, she is. The reason why Goombella is so good is because she can use Rally Link, which gives Mario an extra turn, which is pretty OP. Basically, Goombella is just saying, like, nah, I'm not gonna move Mario, you can have an extra turn instead. It's basically... Having Goombella is basically just like having two Marios on your team. Which is pretty amazing, honestly. Okay, well, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna use the mover. I mean, there's no other interesting enemies on this... in this floor, anyway. Alright, now I'm going to take off nostalgic tunes. This is pretty good, though. about to get the one of the best bat things in the entire game and I didn't even use it I didn't even need it but it's fun right, here we go all right here we are 450 guys this is an intermediate level in the pit of one of the trials these appear every 10 levels at least there's a pipe to make us back to the entrance to go on a bail All right, so here we go, guys. Strange sack. An item that lets you carry up to 20 items. Which is great, because now I have five extra slots in my inventory. The strange sack, though, it isn't as um, impactful as it was in the original, because in the remake, you can carry 15 items. <laughs> I need to see a tier list of all the friend characters. Anyways, uh, here, we are, here we have this. There's graffiti on the wall here. Swab's wish. I want to get married to Bobolik, my dear love, in a shocker wedding. I want us to have 22 kids, enough to have two soccer teams, Bluey. This graffiti was scrawled on with a fierce hand. It doesn't seem like any amount of rubbing will erase it. Yay! You just blow it up. You fucking blow up the wall. Who's good and who's mid? I'll do a tier list right now, actually, because I can tell you who's the best. Goombella is the best, because of Rally Link. It gives Mario an extra turn. Yoshi is the second best, because if you stack a shit ton of power badges on him, he attacks five times at once, which um, you could probably imagine how much that does, like six damage. Let's say you have six base power with Yoshi. His, his damage will go six, five, four, three, two, one. And he'll do, like, 21 damage in one attack. It's pretty crazy. He also has Stampede, which will do the, do the exact same thing. So, except this attacks every enemy. Which is insane. So, Yoshi's the second best. Third best... Probably Koops, honestly. Koops has, um... Great ground coverage. His Shell Slam pierces all defense of all around enemies, so he's basically good at clearing out any loadout that doesn't have flying enemies. Um, Flurry, probably the fourth best, honestly. She has, um, another- she also has a piercing move. Flurry is basically your tank. 
she can live ex she's basically unkillable because Liplock pierces defense and heals her for six every time she attacks an enemy. Dodgy Fog also makes Mario dodge half the time, so half the time he doesn't even get hit. Gale Force is really OP because sometimes you could just say fuck this battle and blow all the enemies out and you get free star points. Pretty OP. And uh, that's Flurry. I'd say the next best is Vivian. Vivian, the only good thing I think about Vivian is Fiery Jinx. Which pierces damage and burns all enemies. Yeah, Gale Force. Vivian is just okay. She's just good. She's good at burning enemies and doing multi hit, but Koops can do that exact same thing for cheaper. Actually, no. He does the exact same thing. Vi the only thing about Vivian that's different is um, Hertz can attack any enemy, not just ground enemies, and it burns. Uh, and then we have Bobbery. Bobbery is also a tank, but he doesn't really excel at anything. The only thing that's really good in his kit would be, like, I guess Bomb Squad and Bob Bass, maybe, but he's really expensive to use, like, 9 FP for an attack that does, like, 8 damage and hits all enemies. It's just kind of whatever. And I don't even think it pierces. That's the thing. The fucking ads came at the wrong time. Okay, I'll, you know, I'll wait. I'll wait. So, what, where, where, what did you hear me say last, Zeppy? <laughs> Let me get Goombella out. Also here, we're gonna get, we're gonna get new, uh, ooh. You said Bobbery was a tank. Yeah, so Bobbery is tanky. He has the most health out of any partner in the game. He has 40, which means he'll never die, pretty much. And the only good thing about him is bob -omb Bast, which... It's basically, it's a lot like Fiery Jinx and Shell Slam, but bob -omb Bast doesn't pierce. It does do 8 damage or so, sure. But for 9 FP, it's not worth it. it just It's just an FP drainer. And I guess Bomb Squad is okay. It's just not really that great. And hold fast, the counter status isn't really that useful anyways, especially if you can super guard consistently. So it kind of sucks. And last, the worst partner in the game is Miss Mouse, obviously. The only thing Miss Mouse is good at is stealing badges. That's the only thing she's good for. Everything else in her kit sucks. Love Slap only does 4 damage. Tease makes enemies dizzy, which is just kind of whatever. And why would you want to pay 10 FP to get 10 HP back? <laughs> like, it's fucking terrible. I don't think I've ever seen anybody say Smooch is good. But yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe if Smooch fully healed Mario for 10 FP, then maybe it would be good. But... I don't know, man. It's really not worth it. Like, I think Smooch should be, like, like five at most. Even then, it's not good. It's not really good at all. Especially when Sweet Treat is, like, right there. Sweet Treat, literally 1 SP. Heals 7 HP, 7 FP. Way better. Anyways, we actually get to hear some, some better music now. This is fucking music. This is the pit of my child's. We just gotta keep fighting and descending. But this endless repetition of rooms starting to totally wear me out, you know? I guess we got a soldier on, though. Alright, new enemy. This is where the pit actually starts to get challenging. Badge bandit. Like, honestly? Going from floors 49 to 50, 51, is a super big difficulty spike for the pit, I won't lie. That's a badge bandit. He's a bandit who will go after your badges, that jerk. He has high attack and HP. He suddenly steals a badge when he attacks you, so use your guard carefully. And if he gets one, keep your cool, okay? If he runs from the battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. So probably what the best probably the best thing to do here would be to fire drive. 
Yeah, and then just have Goombella tank the hits. Oh, I love that they do, like, a little, like, animation so you can tell if they're going for a badge or not. There you go. Oh, now it- now it says I'm recording. And apparently I dropped 257 frames. Hopefully that's not- that's not bad as long as it's not that noticeable, you know? Yeah, this, this shit sounds good. So is this, is this the song that's playing right now? The uh, Pit of Winter Trials lower levels? Yeah, that is good. It sounds like something you hear in fucking Lisa the Painful or something, I don't know. Alright, we got Ice Puffs. Imagine missing a 98% hit. Fire Emblem much? <laughs> hmm. I guess I could just normal jump. I do not want to let that guy freeze himself up. So I'm going to Rally Link again. I haven't been like below like 20 FP, honestly. Holy shit, these guys are actually giving me star points! Ice Puffs and Dark Boos are the first enemies to give me star points now. I kind of overprepared, honestly, for the pit. Bro, come on. Spin jump is so- the spin jump is as unreliable as it is in 64 now. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, go ahead, make yourself invisible. See if I care. Heh. <laughs> Is star points your level up system? Yeah, it is. Oh, those guys don't give star points. Never mind. It's just the ice puffs that do. I mean, you can tell it's an intelligence systems game because you need a hundred of something to get a level up. Ooh, red chomp. Hey, what's up? It's me, the red chomp. Alright, come at me. Come at me. Level A just sits there and tanks it. These guys don't give star points, though. Whoa, no way, I'm below 20 FP. <laughs> Crazy. Don't worry, the pay gets more interesting later. These, this is when it like gets a little bit more interesting, but it's still kind of mid, honestly. Oh yeah, moon clefts. I think these guys ought to give star points. Yep, they give one each. So we're gonna get a level up in a floor or two. Badge Bandit, yeah! The badge bandits give a really oddly low amount of star points, though. It's kind of weird. Alright, 
we're gonna fire drive this fool. Look at it, I will admit, this is pretty, this is pretty fun. The strategy, strategizing like what attack I should use, that's fun. I like that. I mean, when I level up, I'm probably gonna get more BP anyways, and then I can like save even more FP. Another ice puff. Oh boy, what a loadout this one is. Alright, multi bounce. Yeah. So I can't believe you're gonna beat this unit 10 HP. Yeah! Crazy, right? I never actually did a 10 HP run legitimately, like five years ago. I did it with, um. I, 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 cause I got stuck on the Shadow Queen, I couldn't beat her. It's because the Shadow Queen does so fucking much damage. I managed to be here in the remake, though. Alright, well, we officially have more FP to spend our stuff on, so let's put on another Flower Saber P. Where is that? <laughs> like, look at that. Oh yeah, right, we also have Pinky Flower now. When Mario takes damage in battle, occasionally recover 1 FP. That badge sucks. It's not good. <laughs> Should be- it, it, they nerfed it, her in the remake? No. She's the exact same in the remake. It's just I've gotten better at TTYD, so I'm able to do it. Okay, well, <laughs> we get to skip a floor, I guess. The Shadow- well, I mean, they kinda- they didn't really nerf the Shadow Queen herself. It's more like they buffed how it's they buffed the game in a way. Ow. Well, I'm in danger now. So that's cool, I guess. You know, being in danger is nice. Even know how to explain it. I mean, I think the biggest buff of all is being able to skip cutscenes if you die. <laughs> That's the biggest buff of all. I mean, thank God for that because the Shadow Queen cutscene takes like 20 damn minutes. And if you die at any point during that, you have to redo it all over again. Alright, floor 60. This is, I think, where we get the double dip badge. Yep, so this is how you get triple dip. You just get a second double dip and it turns into triple dip. Alright, we're gonna get new enemies. So, yeah, here we go. Shadow Queen begins to yap. <laughs> Oof. See now this is actually this is actually a bit challenging now. Uh rally wink so I can get rid of the dark craw. <laughs> she apps too much. And I also need this guy to spawn spinies in anyways. There you go, perfect. Sky blue spiny. Let's see if they fixed the, um... Let's see if they fixed the, uh, the typo. That's a sky blue spiny. It appeared from a spiny egg thrown by a dark lakitu. It'll totally charge at you. Sometimes it balls out to defend and store an energy for an attack. If you can, beat it in any buddies it may have for a special move. 
Yeah, they fixed the pipe, the pit, the pipe mistranslation. That's good. Bingo, bingo. Yo, I got it. All right, let me title this bad boy. That's a dark Lakitu. He rides a rain cloud. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs at you. If it's holding up a spiny egg when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. And sometimes the spiny eggs it throws will turn into sky blue spinies. Whoa. If you only attack the spiny, you'll never win, so go after the dark Lakitu. Okay, so there's a pretty infamous uh, mistranslation here in the original. For some reason, in the original, Goombella says as follows. The Dark Lakitu throws pipes at you. Yes, pipes. Which makes no fucking sense. And I wondered what that meant for the last, like, 18 years, I want to say. And as it turns out, thanks, Merle. As it turns out, the reason why she says pipes is because spiny egg in Japanese is pipo, <laughs> which the translators somehow got confused and they said, oh yeah, that means pipe. So, yeah. Also, I'm not going after that. I'm not going for that. Well, I do want that badge though. It's not a good badge, but I'll pick it up and sell it. So, yeah, she doesn't say pipes anymore, thankfully. She says spiny eggs, like it's supposed to say. <laughs> we got dry boners. I believe if I spin jump, I can kill this guy. Boom. Imagine if the last like, through pipes. See, now that'd be funny. Instead of spines, they just throw pipes at you, and it just makes the fucking metal pipe falling sound whenever it hits Mario. <laughs> See, now I gotta be careful not to pick up any hearts after battle. Alright, here we go. We got the Dark Wizard. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I got a question. There's something I need to know about the Dark Wizard. I don't think I got the the Ultra Hammer. Okay, we need to. I need to see something. Okay, good. They still kept the thing where um, they kept the thing where the Dark Wizard can't be blown by the Ultra Hammer. I don't want that Power Plus P as well. Let's see if I can get it. Problem is, oh, <laughs> it's really easy to tell where he is now. Unfortunately, I can't reach him all the way back there. Can I hit him with fire? Fire Jack might kill him though. Yeah. Pfft. Well, I guess we're not getting that power plus. Yeah, wizards have a chance to carry power pluses. It's pretty cool. Oh, he dropped it! He dropped it anyways! Let's go! <laughs> Miss Mouse is still useless because Item Hog exists. I will floor beyond now. 63. Yeah, this is where the pit gets a little bit more interesting. We got Frost Piranhas. And more Dark Lakitus, my favorite. Yeah. I love the heart, the heart looks really nice. Yeah. Yep, and they are still no match for me. You're no match for me. Ooh. 
Gotta be, really gotta be careful here. Wish they didn't drop hearts, man. That would be really nice if they didn't do that. By the way, guys, I beat Dang and Rampa a few nights ago. Actually, I beat it last night. I'm pretty happy about. Oh my god, three Dark Craws. But yeah, Danganronpa was really fun. I'm glad I got to play with my girlfriend. And, uh, we're gonna take, like, a few weeks break from... We might, like, maybe a week. Yeah. We'll see how much damage this guy does. Yeah, I got the super guard. Never mind. And I'm so killer at this. That guy still gives star points. Either way, the finale of Danganronpa will bur bur yeah, burn drive is wild. The finale of Danganronpa will probably go up sometime in June as well. Just know that I think it was a fantastic game, and I'm really glad I got to play it. Oh boy. Life Shroom Dark Craw. Now that's something I can say is not fun. Fire Drive is okay. Hey look guys, I'm actually running out of FP. Oh, we're dropping frames again. Man, that's really fucking annoying, dude. <laughs> okay, we're back. Yeah, I do not know why that ha- I do not know why that keeps on happening. It's really fucking annoying. I guess, you know, my- My streams are just too powerful for the internet to handle. Anyways, unfortunately, this guy is gonna live. Yes, I'm Nathaniel Bandy. Th I love the little laugh he does. I don't see a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, minor frame drops. It's annoying. Ever since my brother, ever since my brother got his own fucking computer and started eating up my Ethernet uh, cables, uh, I've been dropping a few frames here and there, which kind of sucks. It doesn't affect the recordings, though, thankfully. It's just the streams kind of take a small hit at times. Brrr. It feels it's so jarring to me that um you do, it auto selects the dark craw now instead of the dead dry bones pile. Nathaniel Bandy is a fan of Danganronpa. Oh right. Look, I don't give a fuck what Nathaniel Bandy plays. I didn't play that the Danganronpa because of him. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a I have um it's twenty items now. I keep forgetting. I played Dang and Romp. I'm playing Dang and Romp because my girlfriend introduced me to it back in like 2020. All right, it's time to fire drive it up again. Holy fuck! Twelve star points. Quite a bit. More dark lacatees. 
Pretty, 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 pew. Did you know that? Can you guys believe that people are already doing pre hooktail pits, pit runs of this game? And the game's only been out for like five days. Fucking wild. Actually, not five days. Uh, three days. Four days? Yeah, four days. But, man, is it fucking good. I've never done a pre hook kill pit run, though. Not even of the original game. I mean, I tried. I tried to do one on my GameCube back in the day. Didn't get very far, though. I think I got to maybe, like... The 50s or 60s or something. Level 70, guys. Which means we got a double dip P. Pre-build pit run. Pre-hooktail. Basically, pre-hooktail pit. In other words, is the e it's the earliest you can do the pit at. Basically, it's... Um, completing the pit as soon as um, the game lets you, basically. Which, in other words, is bef right before the first boss of the game. <laughs> Hooktail. And that's it's a challenge run that people have been doing for like 15 years or something. Yeah. And basically, if you have the balls to do a pre Hooktail pit run and succeed, you kind of become like, you know, a legendary person in the Ma Paper Mario community. Anyways, uh, here we have wizards. We also have enemies that can withstand my, um, my danger strats. Here's a wizard. That's a wizard. It's part machine, part organic centuries old thing. Ease, magic, attack, heal, and alter your condition, so stay on your guard. Its defense is high, but we can totally take this thing. I want to see what the wizard does. Ooh. That looks fucking badass. <laughs> Aren't you a legend in the community of Paper Mario? I wouldn't say I'm a legend, but I'm pretty... I, I can hold my own when it comes to Paper Mario. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Nope. Why did they make multi bunk so fucking hard in this game? The thing about the pre hooktail pit run is it's kind of boring at times because most of the pit, most of the pit run, is just you spamming sweet treat over and over and keeping Goombella or Koops in peril the entire time to do damage. And because the, the only reason why the pre hooktail pit run is possible is because of Mega Rush P. And if you ever end up coming out of peril, if you ever, if you ever end up being out of peril for like even a moment, um, it just becomes way, it just becomes like slog and way too hard. <laughs> oh, that guy's still dead. Oh, shit, he died from the stage hazard. Let's go. They also got a Fright Mask. Kind of cool. Even though they did nerf the Fright Mask animation in the remake. All right, I got a phantom ember now. It's the uh, loadout of ten of, of five phantom embers. We can do this, no problem. Perfect damage. Yeah, we're about to level up again. The thing that's great about the pre hooktail pit, though, is that you get level-ups constantly. Which is probably what makes it so addicting, honestly. 
you get level ups like every two or three floors. <laughs> Which means you're usually gonna be fully healed most of the time. The problem with that is it also gets your partners out of peril if you have the, your peril partner out. So you have to make sure you um, swap out your partners, which also makes the pre hill tail pit kind of annoying as well. Man, I do like perfect damage to all these encounters. Alright, well there's a level up. I do like that they added more music to the pit though. Pretty cool. Alright, more BP. Maybe I'll be able to afford all or nothing if I really need it. Unfortunately, that means I'm not in peril anymore. Or danger, rather. Alright, let's sort these. Um, so we have three BP we could use on something. Low-key, I think power bounce might not be bad. Try putting that on. FP plus is also okay. Double pain. <laughs> I could put that on for shits and giggles. Pick up a dried shroom. Actually, now that I think about it, dried shrooms are kind of useless now in the remake. Because whenever your partners die, um, they get revived with one HP. Which actually makes Peril Strats better in this game. Which makes- which might change up how we do the pre hook tail pit, honestly. Actually, you know what? Let me just get hit by this guy. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> now, the one thing I like about the pit, though, you can do shit like that. Just get hit intentionally and get in danger. The great thing about the normal wizard is he can't duplicate himself. Yeah, we're getting so much star points now. Because we're at the chapter 8 enemies now. Actually, yeah, I just realized we're gonna get to the 80 soon already. Maybe the pit isn't as long maybe the pit isn't as long as I thought it was. Then again, I did get like two to three movers, so I don't know. Alright, there. I hate that you can't- I still- it's, it's gonna take some getting used to, the fact that I can't do that. Dude, this is literally just the same loadout as the last one. Except now the wizard's in the front instead of the back. Still haven't needed any of my inky sauce. Maybe I'll need them for a challenge run or something. Oh, he lived. Ow. No, Merle, stop! <laughs> I don't need you right now. You know what would be an interesting way to um, buff the curses? Or not the curses, the uh, charms? In, in, like, newer Paper Mario games. Oh, another Fright Mask. You know, we could double dip that. Oh, that's what I watched. That's what I should put on. Instead of Power Bounce, let's put on Double Dip. Peril Strats only run. Peril Strats also makes the game too easy, though. <laughs> because Peril Strats... It makes you do five extra damage to all enemies. And this battle is free. If you can find a way to flip those guys over, it becomes really easy. And yeah, I noticed that the, um, I noticed that the stage hazards are really, like, biased towards your favor in this game compared to the original. Boom.
actually, yeah, I can pick up that heart. It's okay. We're almost done. 77. There's a reason why people buy, like, fuck tons of Mega Rush badges. Oh, this slowed out again. This one's free. You just get so many damn star points from this. Meow. We got a rune powder. You know, I just realized something. I have not seen the um, confusion status in the remake yet. That's one thing I've like absolutely not seen at all. Kind of weird, huh? All right, last four before the 80s, guys. We got a swoopula, that's what we got. Really not worth going for the spin jump anymore. <laughs> I missed the hitbox of the original, dude. I know Smurly can't show up if you do the battle in, like, to one turn. Kinda wild. And we got an Ice Storm. I think that's- well, we almost got max, max items. Alright. Level 80. This is an intermediate floor. These appear every 10 levels. Place is a pipe. Alright. Here we go, guys. We get bump attack. Yeah. And I think bump attack is... It's still 5. Okay, that's fucking weird. Why do they make first attack 0, but bump attack 5? What the fuck kind of logic is that? Come on, intelligent systems. And I'm gonna assume Charlie still has his old stuff. Why the fuck? What the hell? Why is he selling these now? For 900? Who in their right mind would pay for this? That is really stupid. In the original, he sells super shrooms and maple syrups here, not... Ultra Shrooms and Jam and Jellies. Why the fuck are they 900? <laughs> That's so stupid. I can't think of anybody who would do this. Really weird. Okay. Alright, is the music gonna get better? This is the pit of 100 trials. We've come pretty far, it looks like. The air is getting super dank. Who knows how deep it goes, but let's keep going as long as we can. <laughs> That's dumb. Oh, new enemy. This is where the pit really starts to get tricky. Like, the 80s and 90s is honestly, like, the defining part of the pit, really. We got Arantulas. That's an Arantula. It's a spider-like creature that lives deep underground. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It's, it'll spit web wads at you. Sometimes it even attacks several times in a row. That coloring freaks me out. I'm kind of scared of spiders. So let's do this quickly. So, the best I can do is fire drive. Let's see how let's see how this goes. Oh, wow. 
Oh, let's go. I mean, honestly, the only th challenging thing about these floors will be the fact that I have to tattle. <laughs> and the Arantulas have the most health out of all the enemies down in the 80s anyway, so... Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure the Arantulas have the most health out of any enemy in the pit. Next to the Amazy Daisies. Which, yeah, we gotta find those guys at some point, too. That'll be fun. Oh yeah, Dark Bristles. Here's another fun enemy. Dark Bristles aren't that dangerous, though. It has a Dark Bristle. It's an ancient creature made of rock. You can't jump on it because of its spikes, and you can't approach through it through its spears, and its defense is high. You better take it out with special moves or items. Or do this. Boom. Uh oh. Might be time for Earth Tremor then, I guess. Yeah, I think it's time for Earth Tremor. Because I'm not dealing with stage hazards today. Alright, that should be good enough. There we go. Look at that, we got 15 star points for that. Crazy, right? Actually, yeah, this is safe. I can get back into perfect danger. Let's fight our way to the lowest level. Make sure I tattle on any you haven't seen, okay? Ooh, I don't know why I'm scared, because... Oh, well, okay. Come on, man, I can't have you doing that. I gotta find... I gotta see all the enemies. There's still one enemy I haven't seen yet on this floor. And here he is! This is the missing... This is the enemy I was missing. Look at that, guys. It's a piranha plant. <laughs> yep, just a straight up piranha plant. I'm pretty sure these guys have a cool name in Japanese, but in English, they're just called piranha plants. That's a piranha plant. In fact, I think this is the strongest type of them all. Its attack power is absurdly high. It may look like a normal piranha plant, but don't be fooled, it's super tough. If we get beaten by a flower, we'll never hear the end of it, know what I mean? It's your boy Plant Gang, and he's the strongest lad in the game. He's got 9 attack power, 15 HP. That is freaking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Aw, oh, I almost got all three of them, Plant. I almost got all three super guards. It would have been super cool if I gotten that. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna level up after this anyway. By the way, apparently they um, made it so that level ups heal all party members in this game. Yes, plant and oh boy, another level up I don't need. 69. Actually, we should end the game on 69 BP. And then just put everything else in the FP. <laughs> June 9th, yeah. 
All right, we got a Spunya here. This would be the perfect way to get hit by a first truck. Hakun flower is literally just plant in Japanese. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the TTYD specifically one. I'm pretty sure those guys have a unique name. Mooney, Mooney can drop from the sky. Let me look. I'm gonna look this up because this is gonna bother me if I don't look this up right now. Let me see. All right. Um. Let me see. Piranha plant. Hit a 100 trials. Yeah. <laughs> this is a specific. This is a specific enemy. Okay. <laughs> apparently... Apparently in the, um... Apparently in the Japanese version... They are called Kira Pakun, which means killer plant. <laughs> killer plant! <laughs> Look at all the, pla the plants. See, they heard me talking about them. Yeah. Kinda crazy, huh? Yeah, so these these though these guys are called killer plants instead of piranha plants in Japanese. Which I think is a fucking badass name. I knew they had a different name in English. Or in, I knew they had a different name in the Japanese version, I just forgot what it was. So I guess that confirms that I was right about that. If I'm not mistaken, this is the floor where there's a, there's two Spunyas in a row. Yeah, I don't know why they did this, it's kind of weird. Except this one has an Arantula in it. Spooky. We got a Toad audience, aka the best one. We're gonna get a Shine Sprite Bingo? Yeah, we can't kill- we can't quite kill the Arantula in one turn, but that's okay. Okay, that was the strong- that was the strong attack. Wait, I could have been in peril then, Oh shit. Yes, I'll hear something food me. Actually, wait, Jose, did you ever answer what day we should play, um... Oh yeah, Monday. Okay. Monday is when we're gonna play, uh... What's it called? The, um... 12.3. The Garfield movie released? <laughs> Wonder how long it'll take for them to get that on Soap today. Oh wow, this is the most free battle I've ever seen. Not gonna lie, I might check out that Garfield movie. <laughs> wow. I didn't know those guys could drop regular ass mushrooms. No, that must be from the item hog pool, not from the dark bristle item pool. Item hog has like a set of generic items it can drop. Well, the arantula thing does not work in this version of the game. Can confirm. Oh boy, this is gonna be a tough one. What's gonna release? Soap Today. It's a it's a site where you can watch free movies. Yeah. 
Ratten. But if they, I want, I was, I was joking about how fast they're gonna get the Garfield movie on there. <laughs> Oof. I almost got out of danger. That could have been bad. Quiet, gang. It's probably already on there. Crazy. Wouldn't surprise me. I think we're gonna get a level up after this. Check that shit out. Man, the stage has- that's one thing I've been really surprised about. The stage has are being way fucking better in this game and way less annoying. Like, dude, I would totally- in the original, I fucking hate the B-list star stage. Because the fog is so goddamn calm in there, that once you get to A-list star, I'm like, oh, thank god, there's less fog. <laughs> and I think by the time you get to superstar stage, you rarely even see it. You rarely see the fog. You see more of the really interesting, you really, you, you see the more cool, um, ones instead. Alright. Well, I did say I'll stop upgrading BP, so... FP. It will be better than the 2004 one. Hard to say, because the 2004 one's pretty fucking good. So, we need two more levels to get Superstar Stage. Well, dude, we're at the 90s now. We made it, guys. We're all to get Lucky Day. Yeah! Alright, well guys, last ten floors of the pit. This is gonna be where the shit gets real. Um, let me also, um... Let's check how many more badges I need. We need one more badge. And that's the one we get at the very bottom of the pit. You need BP since you spam Rally Wink like Goombella is a Fire Emblem dancer. You mean FP, not BP. So this is the last badge in the game. Are you guys ready to do the fucking 90s? It's gonna be so hype. Alright, we have arguably one of the worst enemies in the entire game right here, though. The fucking elite wizards. Is it the loadout I'm thinking of? Oh boy, it's this fucking loadout. I'm probably going to run away from this. Actually, wait, I got a better idea. We're gonna tattle? That's an elite wizard. This is in the top of the heap for half sheen organisms. Max HP is 12, attack is 8, and defense is 5. You can probably guess this, but it uses various magic moves in battle. And if it's alone, it'll create illusions of itself. It has no real weakness. So just use whatever you got to beat, okay? Let's go, Mario. These guys? I always found these guys really fucking hard as a kid. But they're actually pretty easy to exploit. You just gotta be Sephiroth. This is the only conceivable way I can win this in one turn, so... Might as well use it, right? I believe they're also 5% to Showstopper. But you know what? Yeah, that's fun. Oof. I, I almost didn't mash it hard enough. Yes, one wing at office. Ooh, 40 star points. Holy fuck. Those guys give the most star points out of any enemy in the game. That's not an amazing AC, of course. Dude, dude, dude. We also have the poison puff. <laughs> no, that is stupid. Also, that guy lived. Pretty nasty.
That's a poison puff. Basically just a puff of poisonous air. Its poison gas attack is 10. These things charge at you, but they also save up toxins to poison you with them, scum. Plus you can't touch them when they're saving up toxins or you get hurt. So annoying. This might be a tricky loadout. I might need to like... Fright Mask. Yeah, Fright Mask. <laughs> That'll do it. Three of them ran away. That's good enough for me. Perfect. I'm glad I kept those Fright Masks then. Actually, wait. Real quick. I'm gonna see if I can get him to a hit me first. I need to get back into danger, man. Get me into danger. Actually, that's a bad idea. He might he might charge up and attack me instead. No, that is stupid. And besides, I'm gonna I'm gonna level up anyways again before the uh, before Bone Tail, so it doesn't fucking matter. Ninety-two. We're getting there. This could be like a trap beat or something, you know? Oh shit. Amazy Daisy spotted. How the fuck am I gonna win a battle like this? That's easy, the biggest ball I've ever seen. It won't attack, but once it's fused, it's lit, it'll explode after a while. So the problem is how to beat it before it goes off. I mean, its bomb attack has a power of 16. That's no joke. Seriously, watch out for that. Just go all out to beat it. Pull out all the stops. Or you could just set it off early with fire explosions. Your call. I might have to run. <laughs> I might have to. And redo this battle so I can rally link at the start. And plus, you don't lose anything when you run away from battles. Now. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I got a pretty good idea here. Oh, we have to tattle the Amazy Daisy anyways, so... <laughs> we're gonna be here for a sec. That's an Amazy Daisy. This mystical daisy is like the rarest thing ever. Since it has such high HP and runs away really quickly, it's almost impossible to beat. Plus, its lullaby has massive attack power, so if you're low on HP, we need to scram. Yeah, I think hard about whether to fight or bolt. I'm gonna run again. Oh god, the mash! I gotta mash really hard! Oh jeez. You lose in the OG if you pussy out. You lose coins. In the original, if you, um... Yeah, that's basically what happens. I'm gonna spin jump this guy. Now we're gonna have um, Goombella use a shooting star. Then we can kill the Amazy Daisy. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so this might be a stupid idea, but I'm gonna do this. Oh, that's um. It's not good, okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna fire drive these guys. Also, look at how much star points I'm gonna get. Alright, fire drive time, though. Boom. Oh. It only- they only explode once. That's weird. Did they nerf the bulky- did they nerf the bobulks? That's weird, okay. Alright, more FP! <laughs> I don't need- I didn't need any of the items that I brought, dude. Thanks, Merly. 
That is a lot of coins, though. How many am I gonna get? I just got like 50 coins from that. I think that's all the enemies in the pit now that we have. Nope, never mind. I forgot Swampires. Um. What badge was I gonna put on? Triple dip. Alright, so we have one more badge left. We need. I still don't know what the fuck this entry is. I don't know. Like, we have almost everything. Well, that's Swampire. We'll get Swampire in a sec here. Who's Merly? Oh my god, this fucking loadout. This loadout is fucking scary. Merly gives you, uh, buffs and stuff. That's a Swampire. It's a feared health sucker that hides in the darkness. It sucks health from its prey to add to its own HP. And that totally grosses me out like you wouldn't believe. If you let it feast on you, its HP will get really high. Focus your attacks on it. Um... Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run. Because uh, I wanted to tattle that guy. This is why I wish tattle... This is why I wish Tattle was cheap, you know? I wish Tattle didn't cost a turn. So this is basically a guaranteed level because of the two Maisy Daisies here. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Art Attack. Well, that takes care of two of them. And then I think two I think a fire drive will kill. Yep. <laughs> Look at how that how much star points we got. We got a hundred star points. Holy fuck. I just got an entire level up from that. Well, I think we got our superstar stage now. Dude, that's so many star points, bro. Mario became a superstar. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. And another Fright Mask. I mean, if, if these battles aren't easy enough for you, have more Fright Masks. But yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a Mover or something. <laughs> Star Coins. I actually don't think you can get a Mover at, at this point. <laughs> Why is the crowd so big? Ooh, look at this. Really nice. Really nice looking stage. All right, we're gonna be su we're gonna be Sephiroth again. Also, that guy has an Ultra Shroom. Crazy. Boom! I love that attack. <laughs> Guys, I might even get another level up before the fucking boss. It's just a game that keeps on getting. Man, I have almost 1,500 coins. 95. I am glad you, you can breach uh, quadruple digits in this game, though. That makes it uh, that makes it way less annoying. Oh, not this fucking loadout again. I can't actually do this in one turn.
The most I can do is get rid of two, get rid of one poison puff. Or clock out. Might not be a bad idea. Or Fright Mask. Rune Powder. Either is good. You know what? Go Rune Powder. Do something. I got one of them. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That's not good. Uh, what do I do now? Shit. Um, Fright Masks, go! <laughs> Celery. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks for getting me into danger again. There, there we go. Back into perfect danger. Well, not perfect, but it's danger. Alright, 97, 98, 99. Bobble? Okay. I'm fine with that loadout. Definitely gonna fire drive here. So I don't think I- I don't think I die from this. Yeah. I get into perfect danger! <laughs> or perfect peril! Amazing. Those guys only get two star points? Kinda of wild. I'm actually glad I'm in peril now, though. Pretty nice. Um, see some FP in there. And there's a mushroom. Generic uh, item hog drop there. It's okay, if I die, I have life streams, so I'm not worried. We have more Swampires. This is definitely a load I'd love to use, um... Fright Masks on. Oh, never mind, it's just two of them. There's just one Swampire. I thought that was gonna be the dreaded five Swampire loadout. That would've sucked ass. Oh, fuck off, man. I got a supernova again. This is one case where the, uh, the stage hazards are not in my favor. Smash like you never mash before. Boom. It does 15 damage perfectly. I don't think we're getting a little up before the boss, thank god. Is there any FP? Is there any health in there? Thank god. Alright, last level before Bone Tail. 1,500 coins. Damn. Is it gonna be the five elite wizards loadout? Yep, it is. Okay. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I fucking smoked that loadout. Holy shit. Yeah, we get 88. If you dare drop any hearts. Okay. So, let's think about this. Here are my items. I have three life shrooms. A fuck ton of items I'm probably not even gonna use. And I have, um, well, I don't need multiple. Let's think about what badges we need and don't need. Quake Hammer, we don't need. Fire Drive is good, I'll keep that. Double Dip is great. Jumpman, nah. 
Double pain. <laughs> Doubles the Mario damage Mario takes from damage from enemies. Yeah. Supposedly enemies can drop extra double pain badges. I'd be curious to see how that is. I could put on Lucky Day. <laughs> you know what, actually? Let's go with all the lucky badges. Let's go with all the luck badges, dude. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Close call. Pretty lucky. Lucky day. Happy flower. And I'll put happy flower saver P. Um, and feeling fine P. There we go. Just in case. You never know. Uh, otherwise, that should be good. Those, those should be good badges. Might not need to fend plus, though, but I'll keep them anyway. Let's find our way to lowest level. Alright. Bone tail time. Turn up my, turn up my volume for this. I want to hear, I want to listen to what it sounds like. There he is! That actually looks terrifying, I love it. Damn, listen to this fucking shit! Wow, what a freak! Can't flee this fight. Here's Bone Tail. What is this fucking Dark Souls shit? That's Bone Tail. She's the older sister of Hook Tail. Wait, Bone Tail's a she? Wait, really? Dude, they- they retcon Bone Tail's gender, what the fuck? Okay, I guess Bone Tail's a she, then. So old, she's just bones, in fact. Wow, that- that's old. Her body's max HP is 200, and her attack is 8, and her defense is 2. She has various breaths that might confuse us or put us to sleep. I didn't know that. When her Heishi gets low, she'll recover, or reanimate as the case be. No, I'm not, I'm not making this up. In the original version of TTYD, Bonetail's a dude. But now Bonetail's a, a she, and now I don't know how to feel. She's probably stronger than your basic final boss type, seriously. Let's do this right. Alright, well. Uh, Fire Drive could be good. Well, there goes the first life shroom. Woohoo! I guess we can afford the power lift then. I can't believe they made fucking Dark Souls Bone Tail music. That's the best damn thing I've heard all day. I don't need the bingo, thank you very much. I also have triple dip. Hmm. Not really much to use triple dip on, though. I didn't bring a lot of items. This sounds like- actually, you know what this sounds like? It sounds like something you hear in Castlevania. I'm just gonna jam out to this. Nope. <laughs> I 
Lucky. <laughs> Lucky day. Um. Spicy pasta? No, 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 let's do... Yeah, let's do spicy pasta. I need to keep Goombella alive. It was meant for Mario, but... Looks like we're not gonna be getting that now. Four damage. Well, I should probably have Mario in front so we can actually get hit. Fuck. Oh. You know what, Gumbel? Let's see what you can do with Head Bonk. Honestly, not bad. I want to see the bite. <laughs> Not my life, Shroom. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We don't need, um... We don't need Goombella. Get Bobbery out here. He can tank it. There we go. Whoa, that killed me. What the fuck? Actually, I actually have to be careful now. I could do that. Does ten damage? That's crazy. I might have to guard the breath then. Ow. You have 10 HP. Dude, I wasn't expecting the breath to do 10 damage. It usually does 8. Oh, yeah, that's right, because Bone Tail's breath pierces. Which means Power Lift doesn't really fucking do anything. This is really bad, though, because I'm out of Life Shrooms now. Yep. So, I gotta be careful now. Ooh. <laughs> Scary shit. Alright. We have, um, an Inky Pasta, so we can live a bit longer. Oh yeah, right, the heal. This is what I get for being reckless. Merle the goat! This actually got really intense all of a sudden. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, where's your second heal? Peril Bombery! <laughs> okay, we won. We won, though. Let's end this in style. Actually, I don't think Fire Death will do enough. No, I know how to end this. I'm actually, like, genuinely nervous <laughs> because I ran out of life shrooms. <laughs> I, c I would not have been able to predict this, but, yeah. Come on. Come on. Bash. 
Yeah! Ooh, wow. 999 coins. I am so rich. Okay. Fucking hardcore as shit. Holy hell. I burned through all my life streams in that fight. Wow. Crazy ass fight. This is the lowest level in the pit of 100 trials. A zombified dragon named Bone Tail used to protect this room. Yuck. Mar, I bet you're the first person to make it this far. I totally knew you'd do it. Now let's get out of this creepy place and get back to the world above, okay? Mario, I think we've done it. We've reached the lowest level of the pit of 100 trials. This is so awesome. Oh man, I'm actually, I'm actually nervous. Return postage! Dude, I've never felt that suspensed about the pit since, like, my very first run of the pit. Like, I actually thought I was gonna fucking lose. Because I ran out of life streams. I thought I was gonna miss the guard timing on the breath. But, nope. Anyways, we got return postage. Does half damage to foes if they directly attack Mario. Won't work on some enemies. So that's your reward. It's kind of a shitty reward. Also, we got, uh... We got Battle Bone Tail. I'm not sure what these two are, but we got Battle Bone Tail now. Let me listen to this real quick. That's it, okay. They added counter from Fire Emblem. <laughs> yes, they did. Anyways. Not bad. We have every badge in the game now. Yes, including return postage. Yep, so there you go. All right, that's another thing down. That was genuinely stressful. Congrats, you bearer of badges. You've obtained every single badge, whether earned or uncovered, purchased or found. They com the complete collection is now at your fingertips. As proof of your efforts, we've sent you a special award, the badge trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to your friends. There we go, so now, we got the cooking trophy and the badge trophy. This game is still not done though, but I think that's a great time to uh, end this episode. So yeah, keep watching and we will do more of the post game.